Which brings us to the game of the week. The Liberty Christian Bulldogs have long been a beast in football, but for years they've played VIS schools. They moved to the VHSL in 2015 as a non-boarding private school, and despite having to play up in size, they've risen to the challenge. That said, tonight they take on Heritage, all homegrown talent and neighbors in Lynchburg. Our own Eric Johnson was there to take in the Seminole District Showdown. Eric? Hey, Happy, tonight's game, a rematch, of course, of the region final from that spring season where the Pioneers fell. Of course, they're relying on some four-quarter metallic to get the job done tonight, but you have to remember going against LCA is pick your poison. Defend the run or defend the pass. Let you get you out to the Hill City for the highlights. Pioneers bringing the boom pregame, helped on the first defensive drive. LCA took five minutes off the clock, but that drive ended like this. Kane Booker Felder with the interception returns it to the seven yard line that led to a field goal and a three nothing lead. Davis Lane and the Bulldogs, they come right back. Check him out here. He's going to shed some tacklers as he gets out of the box towards the sideline. He dives ahead for the seven to three score right there to touchdown for LCA later. They're up 14 to three. Lane hits Jalen Belfort. They catch and run. He makes a house call 59 yards. It's 21 to three LCA ensuing kickoff. It's a soft pooch. They did this all night long and here it worked. Gideon. Mr. Davidson would recover. He led the Bulldogs to another touchdown and a 25-point advantage. Heritage would find the end zone before halftime. Cameron Burns to Deuce Crawford. He chucks up the deuces right here. Off to the races. 62-yard touchdown. 28-10 score at halftime. But all LCA in the second half. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. LCA, 49-10 win behind five rushing touchdowns. Players weren't too concerned about having two weeks off put a lot on our kids mentally and and that's the the thing that you know I'm so proud of our guys that we, we each week we build you know first week of the season we're a little bit more generic then we build then we build then we build and and right now it's like uh, you know football 401 you know our kids you know they know a whole new language and and they really understand the game having two weeks off I felt like that gave us a lot of time to prepare for the next game you know we had a lot of time to focus on here you know uh, so that that helped us mentally to get ready to uh, play against a great team they're a great team uh, very talented and well coached so as you heard there, the players weren't concerned about having not played in two weeks. Coach Rocco certainly was. He told me he was earlier in the week. However, his team proved him wrong tonight. They moved to 6-0 on the season.